What is up everyone? So in this video I'll give you a brief overview on how I created simple and minimalistic procedural generated trees using the Godot engine. It is based on an article that I found online, though the article did implement it in Unity so I had to port it over to Godot, but I'll link the article down below. The main goal with this project was to provide the most simplest way to generate random trees in a low poly style. So anyways, I started off by creating a simple icosphere and this icosphere would represent our leaves for the tree. And it contains only 20 triangles that is made up of 12 different vertices. Each vertex represents one corner of the sphere. I created a custom class called triangle that holds three references to three different vertices. I then stored the 12 vertices in a list and then created 20 triangles each with three different vertices references. And by creating a mesh using the surface tool, we get a nice looking icosphere. Next up, I divided each triangle into smaller triangles. The more divisions, the smoother the surface will become. So this function calculates the midpoint of each triangle, then divides it and generates new vertices and triangles. Then by adding some noise and a material to the sphere, we get these awesome looking noisy meshes. Continuing on with this journey to create the most awesome looking trees ever, I needed to create the trunk for the tree. I tried to make it as simple as possible, because who wants to do a lot of extra unnecessary work? And this was achieved by just creating a simple cylinder and randomize each of its properties the rings the height the top and the bottom radius and by giving it some noise values we get this weird uneven pattern we then just provide it with a random spatial material as well And by combining the leaves with the tree trunk, we get these fancy low poly trees. This method can of course be expanded on by providing the trees with branches and give the leaves a more complex shape. You can also use a more advanced algorithm like the L system or whatever. But I try to keep it as simple as possible. So guys, that's it. So I'll leave a link to my GitHub page where you'll find the full source code for this project. And if you like it, just leave a like, subscribe and help me get rich. So peace out.